Hello, this is Bob Pru, your instructor in 5537, talking about my online office hours or how to get instructor support for your class this year. What are office hours? Um, it is a time dedicated to supporting students enrolled in a course an instructor is teaching. It would be nice if instructors were here all the time, ready to serve you at a moment's notice. But alas, tenured and tenure track faculty have research duties they have to do, and all faculty, uh, both research faculty and teaching faculty, have service responsibilities that oftentimes keep them from being physically located in their offices. However, anyone who is teaching a course is required to have posted office hours. And all instructors are required that. And announced office hours should be kept by instructors. So it's, it is a legitimate complaint if a instructor posts office hours and does not keep them. That said, it's always a good idea to let your instructor know that you are coming as far ahead of time as possible. I mean, we do get sick, we get sidetracked uh, on other things, um, etc. So uh, just be aware that uh, we are human too, but hold us responsible. My office hours are going to be held through an app called Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. It is something that you can get through, get to through on your cell phone or pad, although I don't use that. I've, I haven't found it really good, I guess, last, for the lack of a better word. Uh, but that, that must, that might just be me because I don't use apps in my uh, cell phone a lot. So, um, Blackboard Collaborate Ultra allows for two-way communication by text in a message chat room sort of format. It also has audio and video components to it, as well as the possibility to do screen sharing, which would allow the instructor to watch you doing a statistical procedure in Excel or in your R or or our studio program and working with that. So um, my online office hours through Blackboard Collaborate are going to be Saturday 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. but I will be available until 11.30 actually um, if you are already in the classroom. If no one's in the classroom at 11, I'm out of here. Uh, last semester I tried doing office hours. That was kind of tough on me. Uh, I have a hard time sleeping after being on the computer that late in the evening. Uh, I was in, in office hours until 11, so it caused problems. Um, however, you know, if, if you do need an occasional uh, collaborate, consult, um, uh, and set it up ahead of time, uh, I can do some office hours or some consultation in the evenings. Um, um, you also have the option of, of just setting a regular appointment with me during the weekday. I'm the chair of the program, so I'm around a lot. I'm, I'm, I, if I'm not in a meeting with the dean or one of my other required meetings, I'm pretty much here. Um, so uh, feel free, absolutely free, to make appointments uh, to come in and talk about your um, uh, projects. 
Unless otherwise stated, my Saturday hours will be in Cherry Hall number 244, which is where I am right now. That's my regular faculty office down, down the hall from the uh, MSW student organization near the back stairway in Cherry Hall. Uh, so you can come by on Saturdays for face-to-face -face help as well. Again, you know, it's a good idea to, to um, send me a um, text message. Um, I didn't put my text message here. Uh, you might have time to, uh, you might have to share t the time with somebody who's online though. So, um, whoops. One of the biggest challenges that I've seen in folks doing this research course over the years has been really kind of, I just like to call it a fear of numbers or an unf unfamiliarity with numbers. I mean, we, you know, we go through school, we learn how to multiply, divide, add and subtract for the most part. Some of us, you know, do algebra and we do trigonometry and some of those kind of things, but most of us don't. And, and a lot of folks who end up in social work really avoid that sort of stuff. So um, there's probably a lot of reasons behind why we do that, but um, we won't go into those because um, I don't know what they are. Um, another big challenge is, is an unfamiliarity with the software. While Excel is a part of the Microsoft Office suite, and it is intuitive for the most part, but unlike other things in the Office suite like Word or PowerPoint, uh, you really need to be precise when you're using Excel. Um, and uh, you need to know what things are for. And so, so, uh, so from, from the outset where you're, you're just putting data in, it um, seems easy enough and seems straightforward enough. But when you start to do anything beyond list making, uh, it starts to get um, a little tricky. R and R Studio. Again, um, most people are not familiar with statistical software at all. And those of you who have maybe used SPSS in the past um, may initially miss some of the graphical user interface that is in SPSS. Um, but you know, most students in the last three, four years I've been using R in this class I found it to be easier than SPSS, uh, uh, and they certainly have um, um, valued the idea that it's it's free and freely available. SPSS students who wanted to work at home would have to buy a campus pack, uh, which I think is thirty-five bucks, forty-five bucks for a semester. It's just an unnecessary expense for something that you'll never use again and I avoid like the plague so so my online office hours which is probably going on right now uh, can be found uh, here I am in student preview mode going to the blackboard collaborate ultra folder clicking on it will take you to the setting to the uh, blackboard collaborate ultra area and it will turn for a while. I don't know if this is going to be working because I am also using the webcam and the microphone, which is required for this. But um, your um, currently available office hours will be um, highlighted. So you can just click on that, join that session. And again, it'll it'll take a moment. So it wants me to upgrade Firefox. Yeah, we will eventually for the best experience. You are the only one in the room because I haven't announced it. All right, so when you get in, you'll have to share audio and share video. Uh, this probably won't work, or it might make my system crash. Uh, we'll see what happens. 
uh, because I'm, like I said, I'm already using that to record this. You'll have to allow it to use your microphone, allow it to use your camera. That seems to be working. Same thing with that, uh, sharing that. There I am down in the corner. Lo and behold. So that's um, Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. More on that later.